Hi guys! So, today it's the end of the month of August. So you know the drill. August favorite. So, I have a lot because I didn't get to do my July's favorites because I did my most worn things for the summer edition video and I didn't want to repeat a video just to show blah 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 and you know I like legit things organic things so let's do it August which it's almost over oh my god I don't understand the month went by so fast but I'm happy because we get to enter September land which it's my birthday month Ooh, celebration okay so let's start with hair um i've been using this product a lot lately again because no joke i have this for about six years or more because my mom gave it to me in 2006 so yeah six years and i still have product here this is the lanza uh, straight light smoother and this is amazing it's just a shiny little product i don't know if i'm gonna get to see it when it falls is it shiny goo you see it's shiny gooey thing i can put it back and it leaves your hair amazingly smooth and free of freeziness and poof and all the yuck thing that we have to deal in the summer because I cannot wait for summer to be over already because I live in Miami and it's like the first open door from hell I mean it's freaking hot like I don't even feel like leaving the house or going to the beach it's just <sighs> okay back to favorite <laughs> so yeah I don't even know if they still selling this product I am gonna look for a place to buy a link or something online because I'm definitely gonna repurchase this after so long and I would definitely share with you guys because this is amazing I super recommend and I have a few more lens of products that I use uh, and I love it absolutely love it so um second hair product it's my chi uh keratin mist i have this for uh a long time now because i tend to buy a lot and never finish my products so i will grab my little uh, box of hair products and i'm like okay so now i'm gonna use this this and that and then i start experimenting again what i purchased a long time ago and then you know it's just me I'm such a consumer but yeah so this is good I use it on my wet hair before I blow dry or even if I'm not gonna blow dry my hair if it's just I'm gonna leave it like you know air dry like naturally this leaves my hair super smooth and it's okay I'm not a big fan of she products smell because it smells like men's cologne the cheap ones I, I don't know but yet the product it's awesome I definitely recommend that I love it uh, my two babies Tresemme dry shampoo and the suave dry conditioner this is amazing it's about to and I use this every day it leaves my hair super shiny and super smooth I love it and the Tresemme uh, dry shampoo it's almost over too and I wanted to buy something different. I'm tired of this one. I like to try a new one if you guys know any other dry shampoo besides the Dove and the uh, one from Wash. I would love it. You can leave me a comment below. I saw a pst, dry shampoo yesterday at CVS, but I'm like, okay, no, I'm not going to buy this because I'm still having this. But definitely gonna try that one and I wanted to try the not your mama's and the Sebastian if you guys know any other there's good I am willing to try because this is like crack love it no I don't love crack but you got it 
another hair product that I was super stubborn in the beginning and now I love it. It's my Elnet Satin from L'Oreal. I only have the small version because I didn't want to buy the big one and then not liking it and throw in the back of the box and yada 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 and not use it again. But I experiment another level this weekend. It was super rainy because of the hurricane. I'm like, I was going out to a club and I'm like, oh my god, my hair's gonna turn into a poof. Even though it was super straight, the humidity gets the best of it. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try this. I've tried before and I didn't like it. I don't know why. And then I tried it again Saturday. And I just spray it all over my hair when it was already done. And then I comb it. And it was just magic it was just like satin and it says here disappear at the stroke of a brush and it's true it won't be like a dry stiff hairdo or something like that it will be your normal hair but with the protection and extra hold so this it's a lifesaver I am in love with this I'm definitely repurchasing the big version of it um yeah, another hair product, which is a multitask product. You guys all know, it's the Johnson Baby Shampoo. I am not only using this for this month, but I've been using this for this whole year. And this is good for, well, let me see, let me explain. Okay, for today, for example, I'm going to wash my hair. My hair is full of products and sprays and all the things because I put it on a ponytail and it's all like sticky and, you know. So I wanted to wash my hair, neutralize my hair, deep cleanse before I apply a treatment shampoo and conditioner. So this is a good neutralizer for your hair. It's super gentle because it's for babies and I have baby hair. And super gentle, it will clean your hair, cleanse, it will cleanse your hair, leave it all like free of chemicals and all the products and leave it open to receive a treatment product and uh, number two I use it to take off my makeup and it's super gentle it won't burn my eyes and it will take all of my makeup like that and it will not leave the raccoon eyes or my neck like still full of foundation or stuff like that but you have to take off the whole soap in your face because it, it gets a little concentrated because it's very concentrated and uh, it's good for your eyes and super gentle number three I wash my makeup brushes with this and yeah it works wonders so definitely recommend this this is like five bucks guys I mean amazing products you all know that um face when I bought this product I did not like it but then again I tried again and I'm like okay let's give it a chance another try so this is the face nourishing eye makeup remover olive oil moistures from botanics I bought this at Target but I'm pretty sure you can find it at other drugstores I don't know, in your city, online, boots, botanics.com, whatever it is. So this is definitely olive oil smell, which is not bad. I like it. Um, it's kind of gooey paste, and then you just dab it on your face, on your eyes, you know, massage, and then you see your makeup getting like all clowny in your face. Then you splash it with warm water and then you see this gooey paste turn into a milky uh, cleanse and your makeup just melting away and it's just fantastic it makes my skin super polished and super clean I absolutely love this so definitely worth a try and it's organic so another plus for this so yeah definitely my favorite I've been using this quite a bit this month so another face product you guys know that I am obsessed with thermal water a lot of people must think that it's just like whatever it's just water in a bottle no it's not 
it has a lot of nutrients and minerals for your skin and it's just amazing I used the La Roche Posay for a long time and I love it and I have used the Evian before but since I was in love with the other guy I just left this alone then the other guy finished so I'm like okay let me move on and get back to Evian Evian it's amazing even better than La Roche Posay this stuff is just heaven in my face it's refreshing and definitely moistures my skin and tones so I see a difference and yes I love this product and I, I that's my favorite I am totally obsessed with this Evian water um, face spray whatever you want to call so yeah totally love this another face product oh my god so much Bart's Bees, um, the facial cleanse toilets, but this is the cotton version. Uh, I love the yellow one, the other one, the makeup uh, remover, because this is not a makeup remover toilet. This will clean your face and refresh that, like at night, you know, without the makeup, because this one will not remove your makeup whatsoever. And it smells just like cotton, like fresh linen. I'm, I'm a total fan of the cotton uh, cleanse soap, which is soap free. It's just a cream cleanse. It's like a balm. It's amazing for my skin because I have totally uh, baby face. Like it's super sensitive. I can't put anything. So I have to look for the these type of alternatives, like organic or no sulfate or stuff like that. So yeah, totally recommend this. I sometimes I keep it in my purse when, if I'm not wearing makeup, of course. So yeah, amazing product. Um, I was gonna talk about BB cream, but I'm just gonna show. I am obsessed with the Maybelline. I have this lighter color and the uh, the darker color. You know, I alternate through the seasons. So amazing. Let's not talk about that. I have a video for that. Um, makeup. I am in love with the Revlon uh, Color Stay Whip Foundation. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. It it's amazing. I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to buy this. I have gazillion of foundation foundations, and I don't need it, but I want it. I didn't want it in the beginning. I thought it was gonna be so gooey and yuck, and I am wearing it right now. And it's just, it lasts me so long. Of course, I'm not going to wear makeup for 24 hours. I'm not even awake for 24 hours. But, full coverage, super smooth, and it, it dries in your face. Like, it, it, it matches. I don't, I don't know how to explain. And the consistency, it's, of course, a mousse, a whipped mousse, whatever it is. A lot of people say that you cannot apply it with the brush, but yeah, I do. I apply it with um, dual fiber. I just dip it like this and and then polish my face with it, and it works perfect for me. My color is 330 True Beige because it's kind of hard to um, match your color because if you look through the glass at the drugstore, it's basically all the same so you have to match your color with the you know the little signs that says the color and then it has a little skin color you kind of have to guess because you can't open but yeah I got it right I don't know that was just my luck I should play Lotto just saying so yeah my totally favorite um okay another Thing that I am wearing a lot that I didn't before concealer I don't need much concealer it's good for me but I heard about the Rimmel match perfection concealer and I wanted to try and I I don't know I, I could never find it it was just so ridiculous it was just like okay what the hell is that you know and it costs like six dollars or something super cheap and Mine is in light, 245, and it's amazing. I don't like the applicator much, but yeah, I put it on my finger or just dab it under my eyes on my little pigmented thing here. 
my acne sometimes so yeah it's pretty good it creases a lot but you know with me everything creases under my eyes because I have fine lines here because I'm full of expressions you know I don't think I can ever have Botox because it'll be like this I'll be talking to you guys like this super stiff you know imagine me talking about so this is another one this is the Mabel you see it's not me I need to move so yeah here I have fine lines so everything will crease so creasing it's not uh, my issue so I just keep retouching it throughout the day or the night so what am I gonna do right so yeah my second one it's Maybelline the age rewind uh, concealer I have the foundation I am not totally in love with the foundation because I find it very I don't know clogging because when I'm applying it it's just like it's, it's like it's I don't know it's a plastic over my I don't know how to explain but after all the foundation works good but I don't like the application and the consistency but this it's super dry and it works amazing I can even wear it all over my face mine it's in medium 30 you got it yeah so yeah two favorite concealers okay I've been wearing a lot of a, a combination of lip liner a lip stick and a balm which it's this one right here a wet n wild uh, lip liner this is in what color is this oh willow 712 this is like 99 cents you guys I mean it's a freaking ginormous pencil it will last me 15 years you know so I line my lips and then I get my myth from MAC which is a super I just die nude because when you apply it's like a concealer in your mouth mm, you know what I don't know I thought it was going bad so yeah you can wear it like that or you can do this L'Oreal Balm I'm in love with those balms I'm about to buy the pink one and then it was kind of like a reddish kind of one because it's just you know a nude balm it works like a lip gloss type of thing but it's a kind of you know an every uh, all day balm you see I'm in love with this I mean I love it so yeah three favorites for the month I'm always alternating lipsticks and new ideas so I will have pretty interesting videos for you guys for the monthly favorites so yeah another product that was a present from a friend is the Shiseido corrector pencil the color of this one is dark three dark phones say I don't know yeah I guess it's definitely my skin color so I didn't sharpen it but I would just apply all my freckles and they will disappear it will make my skin even even so I definitely like that so I I've been wearing it a lot like I finish my makeup and then I will correct what it's left it's super dry and it won't come off I like this um last makeup um product it's my Omega eyeshadow from MAC I hit the pen already it's this color which is my hair color and I use it for my beautiful eyebrows so yeah if you're wondering how I feel my eyebrows this is the color Omega sometimes I go a little lighter never darker because I would look like a freaking I don't know so yeah favorite I've always loved this so yeah so for the nails I I don't okay this is kind of awkward because I am the freak of the nail polishes and um, I hate to say it but I'm kind of tired of the neon and the oranges 
and the blue and the mint. I don't know, I just want fall to get here already and I can wear taupe and black and burgundy and you know, the nude. I don't know, I was just, so that's why this week I started already. No, I started last week. I was wearing a burgundy shiny from the Germany collection from OPI and it's just amazing if you follow me on Instagram you must see seen it and I painted my nails this uh, military green which is Impala super old but it's called military green if you don't know Impala it's from Brazil but I've seen a lot of uh, stands whatever you want to call in the middle of the mall but they don't have many colors so I'm pretty sure you can buy online. eBay sells pretty much everything from nail polishes to <laughs> car, so you will find a girl. Um, and my last but not least, my Essie um, on the go top coat. It's near the end, and it's good. It says good to go here. So this is definitely the name. It's good to go because you will apply it. And literally in two seconds your nails are dry and it won't chip 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 in a long time it will last you I don't know a week not for me because I never stay with a nail polish more than three days <laughs> so fancy but yeah I like to change it so yeah definitely good to try because it's amazing and I'm obsessed with this and it's my first top coat that I talk about because top coats are just like whatever but this is just best invention after the iPod you know so yay we're done okay you guys um I hope you guys love it I hope you had an amazing August and um, I will see you on my next video bye